goal today is to clean the space behind me. It's been getting way out of hand again, but uh, it's uh, holidays, so um, not doing too much work on holidays, but kind of need to catch up and get it all sorted so that in 2024, so not used to saying this, it will be back and everything will be all set up and ready for us. Happy New Year everybody, I wanted to break the ice uh, from uh, about a month absence. Um, during this time there's been a bunch of things I've been working on silently, uh, taking away so much energy and um, slightly making me refocus a little bit. But uh, I promise you that things that are coming up, uh, they're going to be very, very exciting. Uh, I know a lot of you had been asking for this. I know a lot of you are very interested in this. So stay tuned. It's almost done. And uh, basically the skis are wax. <laughs> the more I think about what should I start the 2024 with, the more confused I get about um, what video should come first. So I, f I figured I'm just going to make this video about nothing uh just to break the ice and uh, wish you all happy 2024 so let's review 2023 from technological perspective on how it impacted the uh data recovery industry number one let's start off with the really bad news and that is uh flash extractor is done flash extractor as a project uh, is no longer supported uh sergey closed the shop on it it, the, the form is still on, but that's to use whatever has been developed up until now. So if you have any new devices and you need help resolving them, as long as you still got the reader, you may be able to do it. Um, but if you didn't get a chance to buy the reader, well, I don't know if there is uh, any uh, plans in the future to make more readers. I don't know if there are any plans in the future for Sergey to come back to the project and revive it again. But the good news is that there are still devices out there that fail. There are still devices that are supported. So if you uh, know your ways around the equipment that is still active, like PC3000, Rusolute, you'll be okay. 2023 for me and the company was really um, active year. We did a lot of cases that are very challenging. We did a lot of cases that other companies couldn't do and uh, or simply gave up on. And I got to say that the trends I'm noticing um, are kind of, you know, becoming more and more and more difficult. I don't know what, what it is, but we seem to attract so many hard drives that are coming up beat up. It uh, makes me wonder where did all the good, clean, damaged drives go? Uh, we get probably 50-50 split on platter damage uh, jobs in and um, probably about 60 to 70 percent of drives that we get uh, coming in open. That's stuff that's being sent in. So I'm assuming that's people who watch the YouTube channel and then send it out. Uh, those jobs that are coming in from Ottawa where we are in Canada, uh, most of those jobs are still, knock on wood, coming in sealed up, which is great. But obviously I don't have to explain that drive that has been opened before unprofessionally, most likely is going to come in contaminated. If it comes in after a previous repair, that means they already gave it a try and failed. And if it was a professional service, then why did they fail? There's probably something challenging with that case because ask Anybody who does data recovery professionally, if they can replace head assembly, they're going to say yes. And chances are that they can. But whether or not can they uh, support and provide support for the drives that have platter damage, that's a completely different animal. 
Uh, at HDD Recovery, we're really good with it. Uh, and uh, in majority of cases that are coming in uh, claimed as unrecoverable and completely gone, there are ways on how partial data can still be retrieved. Partial data is still better than no data, uh, but I gotta say that it is very tough work. And uh, if somebody laid 10 easy cases which have no platter damage and they just need head replacements versus one tough case where the platter damage is already present, I would probably choose 10 easy cases, not only because it's gonna be more uh, lucrative, uh, but also because it's gonna be um, predictable. With platter damage, there's still uh, a factor of something that is unknown because what's scratched isn't coming back and uh, you're only gonna find out what you did capture at the very end of the game which is uh, sometimes can be a stressful situation if, if what you got is not what the client really wants. Obviously SSDs, SSDs are starting to really um, play their role and what drives this industry. There's lots of devices that are coming in, um, SSD based, NVMe and SATA alike. Uh, the work on them, it's, not so much of a challenge, to be honest. Uh, you do need to understand component level work to solve problems that are related to that. You need to understand how to troubleshoot and find out whether the problem is related to uh, the memory or something else uh, in order to apply a proper solution, if solution exists. And so in 2023, uh, this little device came out it's a DeepSpire USB stabilizer uh, with a 10 GB. Excellent tool. I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> it's uh, something that I use all the time. Uh, but if you want more information on that, uh, Serge did an amazing video describing every single feature of the tool uh, and a lot more. I'll uh, highly suggest you visit DeepSpire's YouTube channel and check the video out. I'll leave the link for you in the description if you're interested in that. Um, the desk size is extended. My old desk, some of you may remember, uh, was probably half the space, but it also opens up a whole new floodgate for um, disorganization. Keeping the desk clean is one of my biggest challenges, guys. I don't know about you, but my desk is almost never clean. And I'm pushing myself to keep it clean as often as I can. So right now, what I have uh, set up is I set up an alarm clock that goes off at the time where my work day is not over yet but it gives me half an hour to review the desk to make sure that it's clean so that next time I'm starting my day I'm not starting with a cleanup or I'm not working in the mess um, watching going back to uh, kitchen nightmares I think with chef Ramsey you saying you work in the mess you create the mess so I try to follow that advice and I recommend you do the same. Another thing I wanted to talk to you about is uh, what's coming up soon is that I wanted to start uh, a Patreon page. A Patreon page will have content that I don't feel comfortable posting on this channel. But the reason for that is that I feel uh, there, is a, there is a sense of responsibility uh, when I'm posting uh, content that I really do want to share but I know that it can do more harm than good because uh, some procedures, when um, I show them on YouTube, they're an open source information. Anybody can view it and uh, it's no surprise when people who are trying to uh, find a solution without being able to understand proper concepts of how to uh, uh, diagnose the issue, uh, which I obviously can input at the beginning of every single video that I produce, uh, they start looking for solutions. And uh, without being able to properly diagnose the issue, they think any solution is worth trying, where it's completely the opposite. If you apply a wrong solution to a problem, you are risking making that problem worse. So uh, things that I've been asked the most uh, on this channel are gonna be getting addressed in detail on Patreon because I know you guys wanna hear answers to it. I don't wanna feel like I'm ignoring your uh, questions. I don't wanna feel like I'm not sharing these answers, but I am keeping that information, not private, but I'm keeping that information away from public who can uneducatedly 
do more damage to their own devices or do more damage to their customers' devices because they don't want to follow proper diagnostic procedures. The base on the Patreon platform, it will be used to set up classes for those who want to learn more about this uh, trade, who want to learn more about this industry, who want to learn more about the tools and what uh, needs to be done to get successful in this business. Uh, I know a lot of companies who've been working with me for many, many years and I see them go from something that they were just starting out with because I see the work they're sending out, right? And as they develop, uh, the easier cases start to fade away because they learn and the more challenging cases remain. And uh, <laughs> that seems to be the pattern. So people who are starting slow, they're starting out, they're finding um, options and learning. And during that learning time, they uh, most of the time outsource devices somewhere else. What I feel like I could really help with is narrowing down that time of learning period, getting comfortable with tools to a point where uh, easy cases don't have to be outsourced. I'm thinking within a month, we'll be fully set up to get that started. And uh, as for the YouTube channel here, things are back to normal. If uh, you guys don't want to sign up to uh, our Patreon, that's fine. Uh, but we would definitely appreciate if you can support us at least with a thumbs up and a comment down below. Guys, if you want me to uh, uh, get into specific discussions on anything, I'm always looking for new topics, new information that you're asking for. So drop that in the comment section. I'll go through the list and hopefully we'll come up with some creative content that you guys want to see on this channel. Thank you very much. I wish you all the best of the best in 2024. Nothing but success, uh, happiness and great health. That's These are the most important things, I guess. <laughs> so thank you for following along and uh, I'll see you all in the next episode.